Welcome to the seventh and last episode of seven continents in seven days. I've done six continents and I've got one left being Antarctica. I am currently in Santiago, Chile, and the next continent I am going to is Antarctica. I need to get in this airport now and see if my flight's on time. If you've not already subscribed, it would mean the world if you did. Right, when is this flight leaving? Let's check the board. I'm going to Punta Arenas. That's in Sao Paulo, Lima. It's not on there. Why is it not on there? Excuse me, do you work yes. here? I'm going to Punta Arenas from Terminal 1. Is this Terminal 1? No, sir. This is international. You have to cross the street over yeah. there. And then yeah. you're going to get to the domestic uh, airport. How far is it over there? 10 minutes working. Perfect. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. Thank you. Wow, the guy's dropped me off at the wrong terminal. I haven't got a clue where I'm going here now. I'm guessing it's down here, is it? Here we go. National, international, this way. Happy days. This must be the other terminal here now. I'm not too far away. I reckon the driver dropped me off there on purpose. Because I told him where I was going. I told him I wasn't going international. And he tried to like triple the price on the cards machine without me seeing. Here we go. Here's the other terminal now. Let's see if we have better luck in here. I tell you what though, this one compared to the last one's dead. Look at it in here. There's no one in here. I can't find any departure boards in here. There's none about anywhere. I know I'm flying with LATAM though, and that's this. I'll go and ask him. Excuse me, do I check in here for Punta Arenas? For here, please. Okay, cheers, thank you. My passport? Cheers, thank you. Bag? No, uh, no bag. Ah, thank you. Gracias, thank you very much. I've just checked in for my last flight on this trip. I don't know how it feels. We've come so far, but we've got so far to go. This continent is the only continent I have never stepped foot in. I don't know what to expect. I've not got the right clothes. I'm completely unprepared, but we'll see how it goes. Right, let's get through security. Just looking at the board, Punta Arenas. Gate 23A. I haven't even got my shaver with me. I could do with a shave. Right, here we have it. Gate 23A. It's booming. Look how many people are here. I wonder if all these people are going to Antarctica. Or maybe it's just a popular place. It can't be that big of a place, surely. I thought it was going to be like a little village. As far as I'm aware, this is the most southern point of South America. Hi, how are you? Hi, gracias. Thank you. I genuinely can't believe it. I'm through the last gate for the last flight. Not one cancelled flight. Obviously there was a few late. Canada was delayed, but no cancellations. A fun fact for you, when I did Seven Wonders of the World in seven days, if you've not seen that, it's on the channel. I didn't miss one flight, but what you don't know is when I was flying Flying back home from Rio, I missed my connection in Morocco and was stuck. Thank God it happened on the way home though, not when I was actually doing the challenge. This flight is supposed to leave at 9pm and get into Punta Arenas at quarter to one in the morning. It's going to be a late one, I'm probably not going to sleep on this. I am buzzing for this, the last flight. Next stop, Punta Arenas. Cheers, thank you very much, have a nice night. And we're in Punta Arenas, Chile. I hope I'm saying that right. You can feel the temperature drop here straight away. This is a domestic flight, so I don't need to go through passport control or anything. I don't even know where I'm going, to be honest. Let me find hotel. You know this one, yeah? How, how much to this place? 15. 15,000 pesos, yeah? Yeah, okay, no problem. And I can pay card, yeah? Uh, debito. Debito. Dollar? Well, on card. Cajero, eh? Debito. Sí. No, no tengo para. You got no debito. ATM here? Cajero. Okay, you show me. I'm guessing he's showing me where the ATM is. Ah, here, thank you. It's in Spanish. How do I pick English? Oh, Jesus. English, there we go. Let's just take that out. Don't even know how much that is. Gracias, thank you. You did say 15, yes? Ah. One five. Un sink. Sí. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. It's very cold here. Sí. Cold. We're on our way now to a hotel that I found while I was waiting for that flight. It was called Hotel Boutique. I booked it. It wasn't that expensive. There wasn't much to offer in Punta Arenas, to be fair. I haven't got a clue if this guy's legit. It all happened very quick. I walked straight off the plane. Obviously, it was a domestic flight, so it wasn't far to walk. And yeah, he had his mobile out saying taxi on it. How many minuto to hotel? Don't think he heard me. Senor, 
Um, how many minuto to a hotel? Valletto. Valletto. Oh, I've not got a clue. No etiendo. Ten minuto. Ten minuto. Sí. Perfect. It's not even far from the airport then. Ten minutes. Happy days. Wow, I'm in the most southern part of South America. I'm buzzing. This is class. I feel like I've got more energy now than when I started. And I've had no sleep. Like, literally none. Don't get me wrong, I've not done it yet. I've still got probably the hardest bit to go. But I am buzzing that I got all those flights and here I am. All I've got is one more continent to go. I need to have a good night's sleep tonight. I've been so lucky with those flights. Because one mess up on those flights and I wouldn't be here. Simple. Can you imagine as well if I left my passport on that flight in Johannesburg and didn't get it back? Oh, that was right at the start as well. Still makes me feel ill. Every time I've left the plane since that flight, I've been checking everything. Oh, it's not sank in yet that I'm actually sleeping in a bed tonight. The last five nights, I've had one night in a bed. So this will be the second in six nights. Oh, here we go. Is this the hotel? The one at the top of the hill. Gracias. 20,000. You can keep the change. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. Right, I think this is it. Hotel boutique. Dear guests, ring the bell if you need help. Does it open? Ah, perfect. Looks really nice, this actually. I think I've done good. There's a horse in the garden. Hi, how are you? Hi, do I speak English? No problem. Ah, okay. My espanol, poquito. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> El pasaporte? Passport, no problem. How cool is this? It's like proper old school. And then check this out. There's like an old cash register. Desayunos. Okay. Oh, breakfast. Amazing. Sandwich of shredded meat. Do I pick breakfast now or I come down? Uh, in the morning. Yes. In the morning. Ah, you're showing me my room. Oh, wow. Look at this. I might need this. Oh, how nice is this? It's like a home from home. Oh, gracias. Oh, amazing. Oh, wow, look at the key. It's like a hammer. Gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is mega, this. Happy days. I've even got slippers. I'm going to need them. It is so good to have that bag off my back. Right, the time now is five past one in the morning and I need to go to sleep. Tomorrow is a very, very big day. So I'm going to make the most of this night's sleep. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> I am so, so tired. I just want to stay in bed. Oh, what time is it? 7.40. Oh, today is the day. I can't believe it, Antarctica. Oh, just looking at the plan for today. It says, please meet us at Almasur Hotel at 11.15. How far is Almasur? Okay, so good news is Almasur is literally a six minute walk from here. But what I need to do now is I have zero clothes. All I've got is thin clothes and not enough of them. So what I'm gonna do is I need to pack up, I need to check out of this hotel, I need to have a shower, and we need to go into town and hope this clothes shop's open, get some shopping done. I need some waterproof trousers, I need a big coat. Oh, I need so much. Right. Let's get up and let's get going. Ugh. I swear this bag is getting heavier. If you come out here, you can see the sea that we're going on today in the distance over there, straight to the Antarctica. This is so surreal. I'm actually going to Antarctica. I need to check out of this hotel. This is a really nice place. Can I check out if that's okay? Great. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Have you had a good stay? I have. This hotel is absolutely lovely. I love it. Oh, <laughs> See you later. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. And we are off. I'm just walking into the town now. The sea's in the back. I need to find a shop that sells everything I need for this trip. Looking on Google in the hotel, there is a few shops that do sell outdoor gear in Punta Arenas. So hopefully they'll have everything I need. 
I'm just coming into the centre of Punta Arenas now. There's a big statue behind me. I'm not too sure what it signifies. This building, on the other hand, the white one behind me, I was reading about it. That building used to be a post office. And in 1904, a British guy sailed from the UK to the Antarctica and he posted 400 letters from that building to basically say that his ship had arrived safely from Antarctica. 1904. Where are these shops? I feel like I've come too far. Here's one, Grado Zero. And then it's got all walking gear, perfect. Hey, how are you mate, you good? Long story short, I'm going to the Antarctica today and I have nothing. Wow. <laughs> I literally have nothing, so I need everything. So can you help me? I yeah, think if I get clothes and maybe a bag, like, are these, are these shoes gonna be okay, these trainers? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Can you help me out with this? Yeah, of course. I appreciate this, mate. Where, what do I need then? What's like the first thing? Start from here. Okay, shoes. cool. What size of shoes? Uh, uh, size nine shoe. No, sure, like that. Ooh, ah, like a proper yeah. boot. Yeah. Is it that I, cold in Antarctica? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. How cold are we talking? For Antarctica, minus the 14 degrees. Minus 14? Minus 14. Is this waterproof? Yeah. Okay, uh, cool. Inside a fabric. Waterproof. Do you have this in a nine? Let me check. You can try this one. Eight and a half. Let's try this. I don't know, maybe it is a bit small. I'll leave the shoes. Let's yeah. go to the jacket. What size are you? Good question. I'm not too sure. Maybe large. What size is this? A UK M. Okay, yeah. let's try this. Yeah, it's a bit tight. Ah, yeah. Let's try this. Thank yeah. you. Bit tight again. Yeah, Can I buy some socks and yeah, some thermals and stuff? Yeah. The sock, yeah? Yeah, it's thermal. It's Amazing. Yeah. How many pairs of these do you think I'll need? Four pairs. Let's do that then. I need some thermals as well. You think that'll be good as an underlayer, yeah? With one, you can survive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll survive, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll take that. Thank you so much. Maybe gloves? Uh, yeah. Gloves, definitely. Yeah. I need gloves. Liner gloves, you can use the camera. Yeah, yeah, perfect. I'll take these. So we've got socks, underlayer, gloves. Is there anything else I need? Maybe a hat? A hat. I need yeah. a hat. That's a good option with slider. Yeah, let's try it on. Perfecto. Boom. Thank you so much for your help. I'm a step closer. 129,400. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help. I appreciate it. Look after yourself. Wish me luck. We're a step closer. I've got thermals, socks and a hat. So I still definitely need to get waterproof pants. That's a must. And a big coat. And some shoes thinking about it. So I've still got a lot to get. The time now is quarter to ten. So I've got exactly an hour and a half to get to that hotel to meet the bus to go to the boat. This is cutting it fine. Here we go. Another shop here. Mountain House. Closed. Oh no. No. Ah, <laughs> good timing, good timing. Thank you. How are you? How are you? You're good? You. I need a coat, a big coat. Okay, Thank you. Let's have a look. This is a pretty big shop. I don't even know what I need. I need everything. What are we looking at here? That's a ladies, isn't it? This you is one for you? Uh, yes, you for me. This. Okay, I'll try that. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, too small. I need to lose weight. <laughs> Do you have bigger one? No, at this moment. You don't no. have one at this moment? Ah, okay, no problem. This is we the shell, like waterproof. Uh, uh, yes, it's the first layer. Oh, wow, this is very warm. What do you reckon? That's warm, that. I think I need this. Yeah, I'll take this. This is the, the first Men in the Antarctic, Mr. Scott. Scott Robert Falcon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah. Scott, this man prepared the expedition with the Inuits. Oh. The big one. Ah, the, the, the mirror. mirror. Is this waterproof? Yes. Okay, cool. I take it. We've got a waterproof coat and then we've got the thermal underneath. Right, we're cooking on gas, come on. Right, I'm just trying these shoes on. Are these gonna be okay for Antarctica yeah, then? These, these are, are great. The perfect choice for Antarctica. Perfect. They're quite comfy as well, aren't they? Right, I'll take these. How would these get on in Antarctica? Not really. <laughs> You're gonna get wet and cold. And these are waterproof, are they? Totally waterproof and breathable. Perfect, that's Thermal. great. I'll take those. Right, I need waterproof pants, and ideally a bag to put all this in, if possible. We have some. So we have this big bag. It's a duffel, totally waterproof bag that you can turn into a backpack. 
That's Liter. massive. How many liters Locked. is that? This is like 130, 113, something like that. Yeah, let's take it. Huge. That, I can put all my coat and everything in there. Everything. Perfect. Let's take it. Amazing. Thank you. Okay. What do you think's best? Like an over trouser or something thermal? For Antarctica, I would take something like this. It's like a soft shell, windproof, waterproof. Yeah. And has some fleece lining. Yeah. So you, you won't feel like a huge thing, not, not very uncomfortable. So that's a good option. If not, any of these. So we've got trousers. Are these the waterproofs as well? They're all waterproof, windproof. And we've got the base layer as well. We've got everything. We, awesome. We've got everything. Jacket, first, second, third layer, waterproof, windproof layer. Can you put everything in this bag? Totally. And then I'll just carry this bag then. Cool. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Are you happy I've got everything now? I'm so happy right now. You're going to be warm enough. Cool. It's really cold on there, so. Really? Yeah. Are you taking the Amundsen jacket? Yeah. Some history there. These ones are gonna be 75% uh, merino wool. This is why we sell a lot for Antarctica. Like the main thing is gonna be the socks and gloves. Yeah, I can imagine. I tell you what, let's get a few pairs of these then. Cold hits you by the your extremities. Hands, head, and feet. If they're not covered, your whole body is gonna be cold. Two pairs of these. Do you have any goggles or sunglasses? No, but I, I don't need goggles. You also. need them. You, really? You really need them. How come? You're going to be really exposed to light. 20 something hours of daylight. 20 hours of daylight? Yeah, yeah there's no night. Ah, okay. So you'd recommend having sample. sunglasses? I think I'll take these. Thank you so much. You're going to be warm enough. I'm now warm and skinned. <laughs> All sorted. Amazing. I can't believe it. We've done it. Thanks so much for your help, mate. I You're really appreciate it. Check that, I think this is the biggest set. bag I own. And this bag's fully waterproof. And 30 liters of waterproofness. Amazing. Thanks so much, mate. German quality. All my new gear. <laughs> Wish me luck in Antarctica. Good luck, Have man. a good one. Have Thanks so much for your help, guys. Same I appreciate travels. it. Good See you later. Good Thanks, good mate. Good. Cheers. I can't believe it. Ugh. I've got all my stuff for Antarctica. I'm ready for it. I'm trying to carry all this stuff. Oh. Time now is 10.59, so I'm gonna head over to the meeting point, which is called Hotel Almasfer, I think it is. It's supposedly just up here on the right. I haven't got a clue what to expect here. I don't even know how many people are gonna be on the boat. I've not got any food or snacks or drinks or anything with me. So unprepared. The main thing is though, I'm gonna be warm. That's the most important thing. Right, here we go. This is the hotel. Hotel Almasfer. Hola, how are you? Is there an Antarctic boat? Yes. yes. Leaving from here? Yeah. Yes. Amazing. I can take you there because it's not here. It's ah, it's not here. Okay, amazing. Thank you so much. Is there a lot of people here? Yes, but I think that some of them are still in the rooms. I mean, like here, it's Ah, okay. Here. Perfect. That's great. Okay. Thank you so much. Is it Simon Wilson? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> oh, good. Are, are you looking for me? Most wanted, yeah. Ah, most, most wanted. wanted men on the, uh... Ah, thank you. Oh, geez. All right, all right. Let's go. Thanks so much, mate. What's the plan now? Jump on the bus to the boat yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget to have your passport there and some document, white document. All right? Yeah, the PDI Just... thing, yeah? Yeah, 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 sure. Cool. Get my passport. There it is. Gracias. All good? Yeah, all good. Perfect. How long is the bus to the boat? Ten minutes, bro. Oh, nothing. Yeah, nothing. sure, sure, sure. Right, let's get on this bus. We're on the bus heading to the port, I'm guessing. He said it was 10 minutes away. But there's fair few people here, to be fair. One bus has already left. This is the second bus. I don't know if they're coming from other hotels. I'm not too sure. We are now six days into this challenge. We've got one day to get to Antarctica. I could really do with a shave. We're just coming into the port now. Gracias, amigo. Thank you very much. Just walking through the port now. On the back, you've got Antarctic Gate. Coming through here, the ship's in the back. Got a long walk to this now. This is so surreal. Oh. So this is our ship over here, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you coming with us? No, no. You're not, nah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you put me on your back, maybe I can go there. Yeah, yeah let's do it. <laughs> How many times have you been to Antarctica? Actually, just once. Bro. Just the once? How was it? It was amazing. Really? You will enjoy it. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Thank yeah. you so much, man. You excited for this, mate? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be some experience. <laughs> hey, how's it going? You good? You good? Hi, how are you? You good? Flipping egg. I cannot believe I'm doing this. This is the ship. 
It's called the Ocean Endeavour. Hey, how are you? Hey, hey how's it going? Welcome. Hey, how are you? You good? Yeah, yeah. I'm great. How about you? Yeah, I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. Cheers. Thanks very much. You will be yeah. staying in cabin 5032. <laughs> Perfect. How do I find myself then? Uh, Stefan will assist you here. Ah, Stefan. Yes. Thank you so much. 5032. Ah, this way, sir. This way. Let me grab my bag. I have your bag. Yeah, till the end. Yeah, cool. I am absolutely buzzing for this. I've never been on a proper ship like a cruise before. This is my room. Yes. Thank you so much, Stefan. Nice, nice. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Happy days. Have a good day. Thanks so much, Stefan. Have a good day. See you later, mate. This is some trip, this. I've even got a window. This is what I'm currently looking at. Can you imagine looking through this window when we get to Antarctica? I am so excited. Right, let's go on deck and see what everybody else is doing. Not a clue where I'm going here. It's quite quiet. Hey mate, how's it going? Good, what, yeah. What's the plan now then? What time do we like yeah. set off? Okay. At three, I think that's when they're throwing the lines and we're getting out of here. Wait. And will we all be yeah. above deck to see the ship yeah, going? Yeah, you're welcome yeah, yeah. to come out, Amazing. yeah. How we're many decks on, uh, is there? There are nine decks. Six is like lounge and restaurant, and then when you get up to seven, yeah. there is a deck, you can walk all the way around outside on seven. Nine is like up here, and this is like the really nice observation deck, like wildlife nice. spotting. There's like a plexiglass screen at the front, so you're yeah. shielded from the wind, and it's like a nice spot when we're underway to like oh, kind of hang out and see everything yeah and, for sure uh, oh amazing thanks so much mate have yeah. a good one i'll see you in a bit mate this ship is gonna be leaving any minute now oh we're on the top it's windy up here and we've not even left yet can you imagine going to the antarctica and standing up here mate i love the costume oh, look you. at this we've got a penguin on board <laughs> yeah. ah simon Sorry. nice to meet you mate mate you are literally gonna fly off <laughs> I'm gonna have to be so careful with this camera. This camera falls off there, we're gonna have some big problems. I'm still struggling to get my head around that I'm currently stood on a ship going to Antarctica, but we should be taking off any minute. As you can see, there's smoke coming out the chimneys in the back, so the engines are on. Come on, that we could really do with getting going here. I've got seven continents to do in seven days. The stairs are gone now. We can't get back into South America. The ropes are coming off, and there we have it, the last rope's off. Here we go, we're off now. We've officially left. Oh, wow, these boats are giving it some here. The both of these boats are just pushing us out. And there we have it, we've left the sixth continent. Chile, South America. The next time I'll be touching land is Antarctica. What do you reckon, Chris? Yes, I am. That's right, we're heading out. Looking forward to it. Chris is from DC. Yes. He said he'd seen the videos. Yes, big fan. So what made you want to come to Antarctica, Chris? Well, I wanted to hit all seven continents, to be honest. Yeah. I booked it right when the pandemic started, so it just got kicked a couple times down Fair the road. Fair play, yeah. so you've been waiting to come on this for like two years now. Oh yeah, for sure, for two years, and we got kicked uh, 2021 to 2022, and I wanted to do the camping and Fair things. Fair play, oh, awesome, man. Have a good one, Chris. See you later, mate. I'll catch you around. In the distance, there is nothing in sight. Nothing. Right, let's get downstairs. We're currently in the Drake's Passage, which is in between South America and Antarctica. As you can see, they've bolted all the tables down. All the furniture is completely strapped. The Drake's Passage is where the two seas meet, so it's supposed to be the roughest sea in the world. But as you can see, there's no land at all in any direction, and it is bitterly freezing. Ugh! I cannot tell you how cold it is. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but look how choppy the sea is. You can just see it up and down, up and down. My fingers are literally going to fall off. You can feel the temperature just dropping. Oh, we are technically in the sort of Antarctica region now. It'll be amazing just to see ground. Coming into Antarctica now. Check this out. As the ship's coming into land, you can see the landscape in the background just appearing in the distance. 
I've got to say that is special just seeing the seventh continent in the back there never in a month of Sundays did I think I would ever see Antarctica just to see it is just unbelievable speechless Antarctica wow that is unbelievable Chris what do you think of Antarctica seeing it for the first time mate it's amazing it's absolutely incredible, incredible isn't it absolutely incredible it's almost a bit surreal isn't it did you ever think you'd see antarctica in your lifetime growing up it was always a dream of mine but the day that it happens it's it's, it's totally special yeah. you know you think wow i'd love to see the seven continents but then to actually do it you got to take it all in can you believe we are looking at antarctica i can't believe it that's absolutely incredible it's just surreal isn't it one of the coolest things i think i've ever seen on a scale of one to ten chris how cold is it honestly it's warmer than i expected really yeah absolutely it's warmer than i expected oh wow Wow, Chris is boiling over here. <laughs> Antarctica in the back. Wow, the seventh continent. I'm nearly there. Antarctica for the first time, what do you think? It's crazy, isn't it? I'm gonna go and get changed now. By the time I've got everything on, I'm probably gonna be there so I can put my foot on the seventh continent and complete this challenge. I genuinely just can't believe this. Antarctica. Let's get it changed. The moment of truth. I'm literally taking off the tags of all of these as I go. This layer. Oh, socks. I really need to get down there quick or I'm going to miss it. Where's my gloves? Oh, don't say this. Oh, come on. Where are my gloves? Right, this is it. Let's have it. Here we go, I'm just heading to the bottom of the ship now to get my outer jacket on, then jump on. Wish me luck. Just squeeze in the corner, how are you mate, you good? How are we looking mate? You tell me, I don't know. Mate, you're looking smart, how am I looking? Looking good. Look at that, Antarctica ready. Not bad for two hour shopping. How come we have to have our hoods out, is it a bad? It's a splashy ride out there. Really? Yeah, so you're gonna want your hood out. This is it. The moment of truth. <laughs> Stepping foot on the last continent. Oh my God. This is surreal. All good? Get my shoes in this. There we go. And then straight this way. Wow, check this out. This is unreal. This is something else. Are you ready for me? Yeah. I'm coming down. Okay, am I good with this bad boy? I need your right hand. You're going to need my right there hand. There you go. You're going to go to the far side and sit down yeah. right away. Thank you. Oh, wow. It's good. Yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> Try and do it holding a camera as well. <laughs> you can feel the water here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The water's coming. Camera's getting soaked already. <laughs> Please don't break on me. I should have probably brought a GoPro for this. Wow, you can really feel the chill here, right on the water. Oh yeah, the engine's going on. There are penguins on the beach. Woo! They're there to greet you. No way. Yeah, they're, they're right there. We're on our way to the shore now. The boat is just in the back of us over there. Hopefully, loads of water doesn't spray up. If this camera is not broken by the end of this trip, it'll be a miracle. I've made it and my camera still works. This is crazy. As soon as I come off the boat, you're greeted with some penguins. Some wild penguins just chilling on the beach. Look at these little guys. I think they want to go back on the boat. There they go, they're heading off into the sea. I cannot believe I've made it. Check this guy out, he's just chilling. He's a massive seal just lying there. So let's work the numbers out. I did six continents in five days, six hours. I then got on the boat the afternoon of that day and it took me, wait for it, you ready? Two and a half days to sail here. So technically I have managed to do it 
in eight and a half, nine days. So it wasn't in seven days, but I still did the seven continents. And what a place to end up. I'm having a moment here. When I snuck into that Conor McGregor fight five years ago, started making YouTube videos, never did I think in five years time I would end up in Antarctica. But when you've got crazy ideas, sometimes you just got to give them a go and see where it takes you. Like Antarctica. I wonder if there's a McDonald's around here, I'm starving. On a serious note, I appreciate everyone who supported me and watched these videos over the years and this series. If you've not already subscribed, make sure you do. And guess what? I'm stuck in Antarctica now for, for about two weeks because there is no way of getting home quick from this place. Not one way. Thanks again. Wish me luck and I'll see you soon. We did it. Have a good one.